concept of neuromatrix. As explained before, pain theory, pain gate theory, was a brilliant theory to explain the pain arising from inflamed tissues and joints. How about pain experienced when there is no active inflammation? Amputees without their limbs could still experience pain arising from that limb. What could be the explanation for this? Data regarding phantom limb pain and chronic pain made the researchers to go from the spinal cord to the brain to investigate pain in detail. With the advancement of neuroscience, neuroimaging, functional MRI technology, it was possible to investigate the effect and the changing brain response to pain. It was noted that neither the cortex nor the thalamus was the center of the pain, rather it was the complex interplay and the interaction of these areas along with the limbic system and diffused brain areas which gave rise to the sensation called pain. This gave rise to the concept of neuromatrix which was defined by Ronald Melzack in 1990 and it was further elaborated in the subsequent years. The loop and the interplay and, uh, between these areas was genetically determined and sculpted by the external inputs. This neuromatrix receives input from various areas of the brain, mainly arising from the pre-existing experiences, the understanding of meaning of pain. It also receives this input from all, over, all the sensory receptors all over your body along with the pre-existing stress input mechanisms. There is continuous cycling, processing and synthesis of nerve impulses in this area which has a distinct pattern, it's called as the neurosignature. Now this helps us to synthesize these inputs into the brain like an orchestra and produce a homo homogeneous response which is called uh, or defined as the pain response. The output is generated by this neuromatrix which triggers the muscle action which is also called as movement activation or which can be movement avoidance as well. The stress and the hormonal response to the pain along with the unconscious justification and meaning to the reasoning for this pain. Neuromatrix is as defined before pre genetically predetermined and each individual has a distinct neuromatrix with the growth and exposure to stress, stresses and inputs, transformation occurs in neuromatrix. Due to this, there is a cyclical processing and synthesis which gives rise to uh, production of many possible patterns. This trial and error happens till one pattern emerges from the circumstances of the movement moment which is happening. In this way, the input and the output are synthesized in parallel which permits smooth continuous stream of action patterns. This further accentuates the greater variability in the pain response which is felt by different people. Inputs like pain understanding, past negative experiences, changes in weather may influence the neuromatrix. This, uh, this may sometimes lead to patterns causing activity avoidance, fear of movement, increased cortisol release causing greater weakness, long-term weakness in muscle, bone and ligaments. This may justify the rationale for chronic pain. Past experiences and muscle activation response output may also justify the rationale for phantom limb pain sensation. Breaking the faulty pattern is a very long and a tedious process. It's just like dieting for weight loss. It involves incorporation of boiled, boring vegetables of pain science awareness, mindfulness and exercises over a long period of time. This may help us to understand the faulty patterns over time and help to address them in the long run. This neuromatrix theory is a groundbreaking theory and it explains the multidimensional nature of pain along with the genetic contribution and neurohormonal stress uh, response uh, along with the sensory transmission of the pain. Now this has made pain science inclusive to the addition of endocrinology and immunology to this uh, arena. This also further solidifies the rationale for exercise rehabilitation, pain science education and cognitive behavior therapy for the best, best management of pain. Thank you very much.